Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, aka Stitcherista here on YouTube, and today is Wednesday, April 13th. It is very early here. I am very tired. <laughs> and this is my first cup of coffee. So this is going to be a pretty short one today. No OMG moments, no real talking points, except when you go to a retreat, keep it simple. That's my talking point for today. So the organizer of the retreat sent an email, because I leave next Thursday, sent an email around and said, you know, we're pretty packed for this one, so just be conscious of what you bring. And so that definitely solidified me taking um, perforated paper projects, because I don't have to bring a stand, I don't have to bring a light, I don't have to, you know what I mean? But I did start a new project yesterday. Yes, I put aside Gathering Honey for now, and decided to start Primrose Cottage Stitches Spring Wishes, which is this. Now, I don't remember what fabric this is. This is a color in cotton, 14 count Ada. I don't remember the color. I honestly don't. It was um, one of the ones I got from her shop update. Um, okay, so what you're seeing here, I'm using all the called for DMC except I decided there were flowers here that were, I could hardly see it when I stitched it on this fabric. So I decided to use two flower buttons that I had. I used a button for the eye for spring. And if you look here, there are like a flower here, a flower here, a flower here, and then a flower here. I'm going to use buttons for all that. Yeah, I'm not stitching those. So what I want to do is I want to use this button, this little guy, for the pink ones next to the word wishes. I ordered another one from 123 Stitch. And then I went through when I ordered some more buttons from them because I didn't have like a flower, for a bigger flower. So we'll see how that turns out. But I thought I may have hit upon something here. Where if you don't like something that's stitched, substitute it with a button. So it's looking really good. I, I like it. I like it very much. So I started that. And then I was getting my stuff together for, um, we're not even going to be doing a motivational story. I don't have my iPad right here. It's just going to be stitching today, right? But um, I pulled some projects to take with me to the retreat. And what's nice is I'll be able to use the stitching pouch that I bought from Carrie, um, Tiger Lily Designs. Yeah, remember I bought this from her website? So remember, I'm already, I already have, and this is where, so I'll put all the floss here. And then I have needles and my um, readers. And then back here, is where I'm bringing these two kits, you know, Wicked and then the Rabbit. And then the great thing about perforated paper is you can just put it right in here and not a big deal. So the other two projects I'm taking, because I like to have choices, right, is this one I got from the Nashville Needlework Market, Heart and Hands Red Round Sampler. So I am gonna be stitching it on this is a needle minder I made out of a chair, a felt cherry. Um, I like to have light needle minders on perforated paper because it so it doesn't weigh it down. So yeah, um, this is pink frost perforated paper, and I'm gonna be ooh right. This is DMC forty two ten. I gotta get the I gotta get the bobbin and wind this on there. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing for that one. I really just love perforated paper so much. I don't know why I don't stitch more on it, honestly. And then I decided I'm going to do the another Nashville Needlework Market release, Heart and Hands Coffee Bird. Absolutely love these little birds. And again, pink frost, um, perforated paper. And here's all the colors. It's like mauves, browns. Yeah. Love it very much. Let me just see if I can, actually, let me, no, I was gonna flip you guys around and show you. 
but you can kind of say, yeah, mauves, browns on the pink paper. And the colors look more vibrant in person, but what's nice is I can put all this in here and literally just put this in my suitcase and then just carry this down to the stitching room with my seat cushion. I always use a seat cushion because um, uh, the seats after sitting for a while, yeah, the seat cushion I have, I love though. It's a bamboo one that's like, um, I got all, I got Pat and Lacey and Margo and Sandy one for Christmas a couple years ago and they use it and love it too. But yeah, you know, the ease of perforated paper is that I can hold it right in my hand and not have to worry about having it on a stand. My stitches are pretty uniform because perforated paper is, you know, stiff. And I can do this in any light because the holes, I mean, it's 14 count. So yeah, I just love perforated paper so much. And like I said, I'll be able to cut this into a circle when I'm done. Yeah, that's gonna be the good thing about that. So that's all I got. I know I said this is going to be a short one because I feel like I'm in for a long work day today. I'm hoping I'm wrong, <laughs> but I don't know because we essentially have two depositions today, which we normally do not have that. We normally just have one, but they are continuing one from, um, Monday and then doing another one. I'm hoping the second one, I'm praying I'm not working as long as I was um, on Monday because I worked until almost eight o'clock and no, I don't want to do that. So, but yeah, we are confirmed for dinner at my dad's on Easter. We are having dinner with my stepdaughter and her boyfriend on um, Friday night to celebrate their birthdays. Yeah, absolutely love this thing from Carrie. It's so, just love. And like I said, I can just throw it right in my suitcase and done. All right, we are gonna do this though. How we continue to unfuck ourselves in 2022. That was a medium tear. It's okay, I'm tired as hell today. All right, wanting new, addicted to the familiar, even when the familiar is as dull as dishwater. When it comes down to it, you'll willingly trade in what you want for what you know. It's all survival. Safety over aliveness, predictability over joy or love or freedom or the life of your dreams. Ooh. You know, I get it. I get it that you should never settle, you know, um, I don't know, but sometimes you just, if we didn't have routine, we would all just be, some days like today, I feel like I just need to, I need the routine where I don't have to think too much, right? All right, guys, I hope you have a great Wednesday. As always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your time with me today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.